The technology you have available to study the problem determines what you think. Mm -hmm. And in medicine, it determines therapy. So you can tell if there's sugar in the urine. You can actually measure blood sugar levels in the blood, but it requires a laboratory test. So you take a blood sample from a patient, you send it to a laboratory. Three weeks later, you're told what their blood sugar was, the, the hour you took the measurement, and that's the only information you get. The patients have no access to knowing what their blood sugar is, although they can check for sugar in the urine. The sugar in the urine doesn't reflect blood sugar levels. It reflects blood sugar levels like six, eight hours before. So there's no way to tell what it actually is that's raising and lowering your blood sugar. You can't see how your blood sugar responds to different foods or different physical activities or stress or sleep. You can't see how your blood sugar, how your insulin levels can't be measured at all because insulin is such a tiny molecule compared to say cholesterol. So you can't measure insulin levels at all. That's why for 40 years physicians assume that patients with diabetes were insulin deficient because they couldn't measure it.